Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost video on rationalising the denominator of a fraction with a single third as the denominator where subsequent simplification is required. So we want to rationalise the denominator. Rationalising the denominator means that we don't want to third a square root in the denominator of the fraction, the bottom of the fraction. And we want to simplify our answer. Now, in a previous video, we saw that to rationalise the denominator, to get rid of that third, the root in the denominator, we have to multiply the top and bottom of the fraction by whatever we have in the denominator. So we times by root 5 over root 5. Because if you think about it, if we times top and bottom of the fraction by the same value, it doesn't make any difference to the fraction. It still has the same value. But what now happens is that 15 times root 5, that's just 15 root 5, because you can't combine the non-third and third together other than just joining them together. It doesn't simplify any further. And root 5 times root 5 is just 5. If you times a third by itself, it just gets rid of the square root. The square root goes. So now we're left with 15 root 5 over 5. But what we have in this video is that this subsequently... But what we have in this subskill is that this fraction will subsequently simplify. Now let's think. We're dividing 15 lots of root 5 by 5. Now, when we divide thirds or non-thirds and such, you can divide the non-third. So here the 15 is a non-third, it doesn't have a root in it. And the 5 is a non-third, it doesn't have a root in it. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And then you divide any thirds. We've got root 5 over, well, there's nothing there, so we just have the root 5. And we're left with 3 root 5. Another way of thinking about it is that we could divide top and bottom of the fraction by 5. So you divide that by 5, you get 3. Divide the bottom by 5, you get 1. And anything over 1 is just itself, so you're left with 3 root 5, which is what we have here. Let's do the same for the second one. We've got 4 over root 10. As above, we times the top and bottom of the fraction by whatever we have in the denominator. Root 10 over root 10. So the top is just 4 times root 10, which is 4 root 10. And at the bottom, we have root 10 times root 10. Any third times itself is just, well, it's going to be the number itself without the root, so it's 10. Now, 4 divided by 10, that doesn't give you a whole number, but we could divide top and bottom of this fraction by whatever's common. Now, you've got a third at the top, you don't have a third at the bottom, so you can't simplify the root 10. Let's ignore it for the moment. We'll put it back later. But 4 over 10, we could divide them both by 2 to give you 2 over 5. So you're left with 2 root 10 over 5, and that's the final answer, 2 root 10 over 5. And you can't simplify that any further.